Good morning! It's the start of May and I'm in a big cashmere black jumper. <laughs> what is happening? But it's actually a very nice cashmere jumper. I'll show you in the mirror. It's from Reformation. It's got big sleeves and it's just a little button-up cardigan. Very easy. I'm actually hoping for sunnier days, but maybe not today because what I have on the agenda today is something so mega that I actually don't need the nice weather outside. I can do anything. I have been waiting for my sister to do this with me for so long. By the way, that is a fluffy coat on the floor. <laughs> Leo is with me at the moment and he sleeps on a fluffy coat. He sleeps on any clothes, any of my clothes, so I just leave a fluffy coat for him on the floor because I'm... I feel like it's comfy, that one, because it's really big. It's like a teddy coat. God, I spoil the dogs. <laughs> I just, when you say it aloud, you're like, that is what I do for my dogs. I have been waiting and waiting for my sister because I need her to hold me accountable, but also I feel like I can bribe her to do this with me, which is clear out my entire closet. I'm not just talking bags and shoes because I did do a bag and shoe clear out recently and I still haven't sold the things that I said I was gonna sell, but maybe I'll sell them all together. I do sell my clothes on Reliked though. I'll leave my reliked page down below. Anyway, the point is that Hannah's gonna come over today and we're gonna go through my shroom because right now I can't even move the hangers in some closets and it's just got too much, too overwhelming and too disorganized. We're just gonna have a good like three, four hour session. And I have bribed her with a HelloFresh delivery. So I said home cooked meal and I've also bribed her with anything she wants in my wardrobe pretty much. So that is the plan of the day. Let's go downstairs and see what the dogs are doing because they're being awfully quiet for my liking. Dogs! <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, sleepy rascal. Hello, my rascal. And my baby dookie. Oh, who wants my attention the most? Oh, Pomeranians are such attention seeking dogs. The sad news is about Leo is that he has alopecia. Oh. I think he's okay though, but it just looks a bit sad. If anyone has a Pomeranian that's had alopecia, please let me know because we're thinking about putting him on medication. You can kind of see it in his neck, it's a bit sad. And he used to be so fluffy. He's just the most cuddly puppy though, aren't you? Oh, baby. I have two little helpers up here today. In terms of shoes and bags, everything is pretty organized in here, I would say. I did clear this out recently. It's more around here where we're having issues. By the way, that is summer clothes that I need to put away from positive. Tano. Like this is just getting really out of control. I literally wear two pairs of jeans from this So that says a lot and I probably wear about three jumpers from this. Do you gloves going into my shower? It's really weird. So basically I'm picturing as I was saying a very sex in the city-esque keep or don't keep situation I just need Hannah and Pia to be really brutal with me and actually hold me accountable because I've been saying I want to do this for months and now it's really the time. Wait, what? I'm gonna be me. that one. So you got a long way to go. Have you got your disgusting mouse? Is that a disgusting mouse that you've got? Oh my god, I always think this is a real mouse when I see it in the kitchen because he takes it with him everywhere. It's disgusting. Just taking off all my jewelry to film a little jewelry video before my sister comes over. I'm basically just waiting for her today because I'm like buzzing to do this clear out and she said she'll be here in an hour and a half. So gotta kill some time. This is my setup. Just filmed a shoe video. Didn't we, Leo? Didn't we? We're doing all the things waiting for Hannah, aren't we? Are you bored? Island has been rolled out the way, so we have all the room in the world. By the way, this island does roll, because people always ask. And I've just opened up all the cupboards ready for judgment, criticism, weeding. Everything is just fully ready to go. And my two harshest critics are here. Pia, well actually three. Hannah, who we're waiting for, and Duki. That what, that you want? Yeah, you two are the harshest uh -huh. critics. It's so true. I think when Hannah comes, I'm just gonna brief her on the room and then probably make her some lunch because it's lunchtime. We're getting a bit hungry because she is running late. Hi, Slag. We were gonna start without you. Yes. Photo with oh. then the cherry, what are the cherry blossoms. Oh. Hannah Do is already that? here with the dress that she wanted <laughs> from my closet, but now she's like, I'm contributing this dress to so the anyone who wants weeding. It. To the weeding. <laughs> it does drown you a bit, doesn't it? This dress. Shame. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, we're starting the pile. Thing one. I just she said, where should we start? And Pia's up, like, like, get rid of this sore. top. It's not you anymore. Wow. Oh. Amelia still likes it. I do. <laughs> I do still like it, but it is not my style anymore. Okay, it's going. Yay! It's going. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Do we have some lunch after all that weeding? <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> We've done one top. Hannah's already going for it. This top, I just don't, I don't really give sleeves. It doesn't, doesn't give what needs no, to be given. Okay, go. <laughs> this is nice. That was cute. Yeah. This? I don't 
every time I put it on, I go, Christmas. It's a bit Christmas. Christmas. This is a little slutty Reformation top. I think I need to get rid of it. Mm. Is it that? Red tops give me the cringes. That's oh my gosh, we are rolling. That's a nicer rolling. colour than that. Yeah, but that is. one's a nicer neckline. Honestly, they're both cringe, but they both are nice at the same time. <laughs> Do I keep the Zara top? Because I love it so much. No. no. But it's so cute. All right, fine. Yeah. Fine. I feel naked. Oh <laughs> gosh. <laughs> what about this? Again. Did you not remember when I wore this like every five all minutes? All the time. Yeah. I wore this every five minutes. Again, that was a skinny jean in like your it was. no or something. Yes, it was. Okay, blazers. I don't think there's anything to get rid of. You oh, never God. have worn that <laughs> purple. Oh, yeah. This is also very. <laughs> That looks great. Go so team! Nice. Now, time to eat. I have a very special delivery, which I'm so happy about. My Hello Fresh box is here. Looking all beautiful in here is what makes my life so easy. Honestly, since discovering Hello Fresh, cooking without Hello Fresh has not been as fun or motivating or organized or anything. It has seriously, seriously changed my life. I'm just gonna turn on the lights so you can see me better. There we go. Hello Fresh is a delivery service where you can cook the most amazing delicious meals everything is prepared for you all the ingredients are perfectly measured meals start as low as three pounds 15 per person it's really affordable and an amazing way to cook to plan your meals to reduce food waste as well because I always find when I do a big food shop or a food shop online I can never get it right you can go online which is what I do and you can pick recipes and they have pictures of the recipes to make it so easy with wait for it with times and everything so for example I picked this meal because it says rapid and it takes 20 minutes to make it that's it so this is spiced lamb and rice look at that that looks good I thought that was very me I also got by the way everything is rice based <laughs> I think that I got I also got a spiced tofu and rice bowl if you're gluten free like me you can select gluten free options you can select options by number of people you're cooking for you can select options by the amount of time I put all of mine as under 30 minutes I also got this sweet and sticky chicken noodle bowl. How good does that look? Since I've been using HelloFresh, I've got so many more compliments on my cooking. And I also am more confident to invite people over. Like Hannah's having lunch with me today. She's a big foodie. I would never really cook for her. But with HelloFresh, I feel so much more confident in my cooking ability. So I'm gonna make this spiced lamb and rice for us now. I also have a HelloFresh discount code, which you can scan right here. I asked them for a discount code because I'm so passionate about it. I feel like it truly has changed the way I cook and the way I live. This would work so well for you if you're the kind of person like me that cooks in a rush, doesn't really plan their meals in advance and isn't that confident in just like whipping stuff up and just wants to be more organized and eat healthy and eat better at home. And or if you're cooking for a lot of people. This is how all the ingredients come, exactly the amounts you need. So this is like the perfect amount I need for two people. And each recipe comes with these cards so you can see what it's supposed to look like and you can also see the steps on the back. one of my favorite things to do because I just love feeling like a chef. I feel like such a pro when I do this because I know I'm not going to mess anything up. Everything will be perfect because I'm just following the recipe. I'm almost there. Oh my gosh, this looks incredible. I'm a chef. I honestly amaze myself when I make HelloFresh dishes because this looks like a work of art. Like this is the picture and this is mine. It's the same. And also that only took 20 minutes. Okay, lunch is served. Hannah is gonna be shook that I made this. I can't believe I made this, it's so beautiful. Okay, Hannah, we are having chamula spiced lamb and rice. Oh, what's chamula? I don't actually know, but I made it and it looks oh, good, so let's try what it. What spices are in the rice? Okay, stop asking me questions. I'll tell you what spices are in the rice. Chamula spice mix. Ooh. Bet you haven't heard of that. Ooh. Okay. I have not heard of that. And harissa paste and tomato puree. Delicious. That is what's right. Okay, I'm going to eat this now. Is it good? You try it. Oh my god. If you tell me you don't like that, I will be shook to my core. Stunning. I want to hear your verdict. It smells great. It smells so good. It, it tastes is. like a restaurant. Mmm. I got mmm. That is so good. Guess how long that took me? How long? 20 minutes. 
I am willing to share one of my meals with you okay, because okay. I want you to convert to HelloFresh, okay? You have two options, sweet and sticky chicken noodles Ooh. or spiced tofu rice bowl. They seriously have the most amazing meal. Don't it's like 20 minutes later, she's still deciding. <laughs> what is Ket Jack Menace? I don't know, mate, do you want it or not? I think I'm gonna go for the chicken. You're gonna go for the chicken? Okay, you can have that meal and I'm gonna convert you to HelloFresh because it is life changing. Stunning. To yeah. be fair, I think this meal is like my fave. Yeah, this is really good. Never Honestly, really. they all get better. Every time I think it can't be as good as the last one I tried, it's like better. Like this one, I would get again. Yeah, the last one I made mm. are so good. And for dessert, a little ripe Alfonso mango because it is the season. On Friday. Just showing Hannah my new in jewelry. How cute are these? So cute. Little Misoma ones. I'll link these below. They're from Lisa Goslan. Okay, we're back in action. Fully fed and watered. Ready. She literally does not waste any time. I <laughs> just this? ran up here. A jumpsuit, I think. I'm scared. I'm this? scared. Help me. Help this? me. Help me. Help me. Oh my god. Oh my the god. pink sheer one. Do you remember? Oh no, that one can go. Oh my god. They're going to just this? rinse me dry. That's that was my wedding thing. dress. That one. That, that should go. Oh, the H&M yeah, one. Living like <laughs> dress up box kind of, I don't know. Like yeah, it is. Like it does oh give dress God. up box to be fair. Oh. When would you ever have <laughs> Can I just tell it? you, I have, well, firstly, it's Simone Rocha H&M. People oh, were H &M. lining up and down oh. and all around the country for this dress. And did that you? Was true. <laughs> this red. Yeah, that's nice. What's wrong with that? Nice jumpsuit. Okay. This thing? Yeah, I'm never gonna wear that, am I? All right, all right. All right. <laughs> My dress. Wow. This is really looking like a dress up box situation uh, going on. I know. Oh, that dress can go. This one? It doesn't really fit me. That could be cute if it right, was fitted. So that, that can, can go. go yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> These? Pete, Pete. No. No. Yes. Yeah. But how, what do you wear it with? A matching top? Yeah, I have a matching top. Okay, maybe just keep it. Keep it. You've had this one for a while. Who remembers this? Oh my god, you've worn that with those purple shorts yeah, before. That's the outfit. That's the outfit. Yes, it is. That's yeah. the outfit. Yeah. When these come back, I'll be wishing I kept them. Guys, if Terry Towling Uggs yeah, and tie dye can make a comeback, yeah, anything is possible. This long. <laughs> I wore this every day in lockdown. What about this number? Yeah, get it. Oh. <laughs> wow, I really didn't know what I had in here, I'll be honest. What's wrong with them? Uh, that's I love it. shorts that the... <laughs> barely contain thy bottom. <laughs> I don't have bottoms, I don't have that problem. <laughs> long. I love this top! <laughs> <laughs> you can keep it. Top for about five years, never yeah. wore it, never wore it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had it for about ten, never wore it. <laughs> Keep it, I like it. What's this? that? What is this? I've been waiting for that to come <laughs> along. Also slays me. Oh, this can go. Remember when I wore this top really? every day? God. Yeah. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, what is that was your first thing of being like, I'm gonna be really Gen Z. Oh my <laughs> It's not me. Should I get, should I get rid of this? You can oh, yeah. try it. It's actually going to be really entertaining to see you in, maybe. Really so, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 yes. no. You can Ooh. try that. Wow, there are some gems in here. <laughs> oh. Oh. I actually never wore this because every time I tried it on, even for me, it was too much. What about oh, that's mine? a throwback. Yeah, isn't it? Well, this this one one still wear it. You don't still wear I that. I wore this like three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real... Oh. Bit. Who remembers me in this top? Okay, this is like eight years old. I love this top. This is nice, no? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are nice. Oh space. my gosh, so much space. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I'm never getting rid of that dress, okay? That could go. It's so cute, no? I am a no, but I'm a no. Do keep if you feel the need. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's in heaven. In oh my god! <laughs> This is an absolute lull of a dress. Oh my God. <laughs> We've only done two cupboards and this is what we're working with already. Like, 
Whoa. Okay, next, next cupboard. Cover. These are vintage. Oh my god, they look mini. Maybe keep the ones without the knee slits. The knee slits could come back. Oh god, you know if that's that. the comeback. <laughs> And I'm gonna be like, you two bitches. Those can go. These can go. Yeah. Oh my god, those. What? <gasps> the red ones. These. Yeah. These? Oh no, god. you can't. <laughs> what came over you? If they don't make it to the hall, they should not make it to your cupboard. Ready? Oh my god. Man. The colour. I'm in a brown mood. Lord. Oh my god. Lord, Lord, Lord. Love I've always quite liked that one. That orange Goodness. dress can go. This is a bit cringe. It's a bit of a colour mishmash. Yeah, I think yeah. you've done enough right. wear with I've, that. Yeah, I've yeah. worn that enough. This. this pile of clothes is no joke right now. This yeah. is not good. This doesn't give what needs... That would look good on you. I just don't know about the colour with like mm. the sparkle. It what well, it is a bit much to be honest. This one and also like it holds your tummy weird. That's yes. kind of cute, but I've never worn it because I just don't really like red that I much. Don't. Yeah, if it it's was the colour, honestly. Color. Yeah, all right. That's, someone else will it's enjoy it. Oh, is it cute, Pia? I know, but on like Pia's colouring, it would look amazing. <laughs> These two hoes are conspiring against me, saying if they oh, both said no. that something was nice, I'd believe them and then I'd wear it. So yeah. they're conspiring like to tr to yeah, tell me something really hideous is nice. That we like, we should say it. I know it's terrible, yeah. and then we can take it from them. <laughs> Wait, what's going now? Yeah, oh, all right, fine. So okay, brown. that can go. I'm that obsessed. Go. I love that. That one can that go. Can go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god, you guys are in the same outfit. I'm dying. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh god. Keep that. I love that dress. Yeah. Shouting from the back. You can get rid of that next one. Listen to me. Yeah, you can get rid of that. But that's quite good for when... No. no. Okay. Uh, could that not be cute? Maybe it's cute. Keep it. No, it's too free. I love it when you when one person says, Could it be... I'm like, keep it. Keep it. No, keep it. It's cute. It could be, it could be cute. Keep the next one. Keep the next one. Keep. Keep. Oh, that one's nice. Keep, that's a staple. Yeah. Mm. I have a confession, yeah. that top doesn't fit me right, so Is let's get rid of it. Okay, shame. What's that? Yeah, it's Jonathan Sinkai, shame. Ooh, Hannah got top. <laughs> <laughs> Soleil Queen. Lace. Just after you've slagged off <laughs> lace for like three hours. Wow! It's uh, crazy, you can move things. Hannah's keeping this, love. Oh, that exhausted me. Hannah is now trying on loads of different things. What are you trying on now? I feel like she's trying on a lace top. Ugh. Is it nice? Oh. I'm so not used to seeing myself in lace. Yeah, it's weird seeing you in black and lace. Do you want me to do it up for you properly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bags of clothes. The gang is all here, ready to go to Mama Rachel's for dinner. Do you know where you're going? You excited? Because she always feeds you chicken. Do you stop breathing when I say chicken? Just found out that my cousin's joining us for dinner too, which is nice. She's coming from Oxford to join us. So cool. Wow, what's for dinner tonight? I'm this excited. Beat. To beat. Special request. Yay! request. To beat. Hello. It's so fun coming here. This is the tradition we started this year, coming to Mama Rachel's house once a month for dinner. And then we keep you on your cooking skills. Yeah. Hot <laughs> on your cooking skills so you don't get rusty. <laughs> Bar bar yeah. 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 Emilia, you are no, a that's so funny! I'm enjoying the sunshine. Oh, oh that's nice! Go. You're famous! I always get messages whenever people see you saying they're too shy to say hi, so I'm glad this girl said hi to you. Made your day. That's so nice. And then I always know where you are. Sometimes someone says you're in Selfridges, sometimes someone says you're in M&S. Yeah, in Booth. In Booth. the hairdresser. Yeah, the hairdresser. <gasps> Yum! Wow. This looks so delicious. Mm. So Rice. <gasps> what a vibe. When I make my rice, yeah. In the rice cooker, like normal Persian rice. Yeah. It's not as soft as yeah. when you do it. Is that because I'm not, not soaking soft. it? You don't soak rice? No, you have to. Yeah, so you have to. Not only do I soak. Yeah, I put salt. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but you soak it in salt. I soak it in water. And water. And, and salt. Oh, yeah. you soak it in water and salt. I don't yeah. soak it. Is that why it's not soft? Oh, yes. No. It uh, has to be. It has to be. Wait. Oh my 
my gosh, so that looks good. so good. I said yeah. I can't believe Tashi's coming all the way from uni, but then when you're at uni, all you want is like good okay. home cooked food. Yeah. So maybe that's why she's coming. Oh my gosh, it's, it's perfect, rice. Mama Rachel. It's a work of art. I can't believe we get two rices for the four of us. This is the lineup today to beat rice. Meatballs, meatballs for me without flour, spring rolls, oh, veg. So, oh my god, there's more. Wow, chicken. chicken. Maybe I'll put this. Yeah, put, you can put that next you. to me. And then we have salad Sorry, and asparagus. And literally, yes. how many people is she cooking for? Like, this is out of control. By the way, like, when it's just the three of us, she cooks like this too. So. It's wild. Oh my god, I'm so excited though. Yum. And then basically, Hannah takes food home for the week. Um, <laughs> All yeah, eyes on Mama Rachel. Oh my gosh. Love she loves feeding everyone and cleaning yeah, the dogs. Please. <laughs> oh. If Leo's with Duke and Duke's eating, then he'll eat. 15 he minutes later, that. she's still feeding them. My cousin has just told me the 20 year olds don't say sliving. No. Yeah. I think sliving is the best saying of all time. I love Paris and I love to slive. Me and <laughs> ha how many times a day do we say slive? So me and much. Hannah even have a WhatsApp group with other people called the slivs. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe you've just gone around your whole life not knowing what sliving is. Yeah. No. For anyone that doesn't know, it's slaying and living. Living. No you need to it. take that to Oxford and, what? and coin it. And educate, <laughs> yeah, the, people educate the people of Oxford. The very intellectual people, people of Oxford. Yeah. We need to yeah. <laughs> educate the intellectual people. Spread it around the whole of you. <laughs> <laughs> All these studious Oxford And it into the Oxford theatre. Yeah, maybe that's why it's not a thing. Yeah, maybe you're just too smart to slip. <laughs> maybe we just don't go out enough to slip. I don't know. Maybe you guys just don't slip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Mama Rachel dipped strawberries and chocolate. I can't have made them myself. I can't. That's so cute. Thank you. I'm just showing Natasha the tea. So exciting. <laughs> we are not going to play around with my skincare routine tonight. Everyone always asks me about these headbands whenever I wear them. They're from Amazon. I'll link the exact ones down below if they're still in stock, which I think they are because they're always in stock, to be honest. That was such a pleasant surprise. I didn't know my cousin was coming. We kind of said at the last dinner we were going to have dinner together with my grandma and then we were like, maybe we should tell our cousins to come. This is what I'm using to cleanse my face right now. The Emma Lewisham Illuminating Face Cleanser. It's kind of like an oil cleanser and it feels really good. I'm doing a full-blown skincare routine tonight. Like, I'm talking 8 million parts, blah, blah, blah. My sister and I were talking about having dehydrated skin and I was like, this is giving me the motivation I need to do an eight part evening skincare routine. Double cleansing with my Luminate Oat Milk Cleanser. This is almost finished, this is like my third one. If you're looking for a really hydrating, nourishing, affordable cleanser, this is a great option for you. It's not for taking off like a whole 18 layers of makeup, but it's a really good cleanser, especially in the morning or for a double cleanse. Any residue eye makeup remover, this is what I use. I've also been through like 95 of these. L'Oreal Eye and Lip Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. I get this on Amazon, direct to my door, Amazon Prime vibe. So I'll link this down below on Amazon as well because it's just so much easier to order stuff on Amazon, I feel sometimes. Can I tell you guys something? I'm obsessed with this hand chain. Mine has already gone kind of silver and I've had it on for like three weeks, maybe, maybe even two weeks. Cause I just haven't taken it off when I wash my hands and stuff. So it's a already gone a bit silver and I went to order another one. <sighs> it's already sold out. You guys sold it out. I'm so sad because I really wanted to order one. But I know I keep linking to it and mentioning it. It's from Adina Eden. It's absolutely stunning but I feel like if you look up close it's kind of not really gold anymore. It's kind of silver. That was quite quick I think but I wasn't taking it off washing my hands or applying body cream or whatever so that kind of happens to this type of jewelry and now i don't know what to do because i really want it but it's sold out i wanted another one or like a backup one if anyone knows somewhere that does one similar like with the dangly charms please let me know i'm absolutely loving clay de post skincare this is their hydra softening lotion you can apply this with a cotton pad or with your hands and it just feels so good on the skin it's sort of like a toner it's just incredible i'm also loving this serum but one of my favorite serums right now well i'm kind of torn maybe i'll use my beauty pie um, use bomb or this is one of my favorites that i've loved since december so oh my god almost six months actually six months this is the shiseido bio performance serum this is not cheap okay this is 
pricey but worth it it comes in a duo with the day serum and it like honestly makes your skin look like porcelain and it makes such a big difference in the skin like I never really noticed that big of a difference with serums like from the get-go skincare is the kind of thing it takes a while to notice this difference but when I used these up for the first time and then continued to use them I saw a difference they're really pricey this duo so I asked Shiseido if we could maybe look into doing a sampling situation like some brands do so we're looking into that for June on my Instagram story so I'll let you know if we end up getting samples so hopefully that like gets across the line and then you guys can actually try it before investing because it is quite a big investment I'm trying to finish this face oil it's the Augustinus beta face oil which is really scrummy and delicious so let's try and finish that because I'm so close to finishing it and then lastly I use my clay de po the cream which is oh it's luxurious I'm telling you now it is so gorgeous one of the most amazing face creams I have ever ever used and the packaging is stunning if you're looking to like gift some skincare junkie maybe like a mother's day gift it's just beautiful wait have we already had mother's day in the uk maybe just a gift <laughs> then i'm going to use my shiseido eye cream i'm kind of fickle with eye creams i've never really found one that i'm like this is my holy grail absolute must have eye cream good morning guys oh my gosh there's police here Wow, there's police everywhere in London right now, like escorting cars for the coronation. Look, wait, someone's gonna drive by with the police, like right now. The police is there, there's someone here. Is it the Queen? Is it, I mean, she's not alive. Oh my God, was that Will and Kate? Genuinely, was that Will and Kate? It was someone in red, but like I've driven around today and that's happened three times. That's the third time that's happened and it's only 1.30 p.m. I haven't been in my car that much, but because of the coronation, a lot is going down okay i don't know if you can tell i have a chipped tooth i was biting my nail and i don't even bite my nails obviously i fake bite my nails like i just kind of like do this when i'm nervous or anxious or whatever and i was just kind of like doing this and i chipped my tooth now i have what is it called i have bonding and bonding is like it's not a veneer but it's like when it like it adds a bit onto your tooth because my original tooth chipped so then I had bonding and I like leveled out all my teeth that was maybe like seven years ago like if you watch my original YouTube videos I didn't have even teeth I was supposed to do all this filming today and random shoots and film these videos that were sponsored I have like two brand videos that I wanted to film today and we honestly tried like I tried to talk it just looked like I have lipstick on my teeth because there's like a bit of tooth missing and I was like anyway I am going to go and beg my dentist to see me they said like oh we're closing at five but come at five and we'll try and fit you in and like fix it quickly because this weekend's bank holiday weekend it's now Thursday so I wouldn't be able to fix it until Tuesday and I was like uh can you see that it's just not really giving what needs to be gave I'm gonna be honest so I'm gonna try and fix that before the weekend anyway I'm going to EMS today I have also had my hair up for two days because I had a Brazilian keratin treatment I don't know if it's called Brazilian anymore but it's basically like an anti-frizz treatment for the summer and I never have my hair up and I've had it up for like two and a half days now and that's really quite enough for me like it has like the cream and stuff in it and you're not able to wash it out you can tie up your hair but you can't wash it out for two days I can wash it out tomorrow morning I can't wait to have no frizz it's gonna be great and no like kinks or anything either and also my blow dry time when I do this is so fast like I can blow dry my hair in 10 minutes. I think it's like seven, I timed it last year. So we're gonna go do M Sculpt Neo now. It's my third session. I haven't noticed that much of a difference yet. Maybe because we took the four pictures, maybe by the fourth session, you sometimes need like four to six sessions, they said. So we're gonna pe compare pictures and see and maybe it will be doing something. I've seen like amazing results on other people from this, but I haven't seen, I haven't noticed that many results on myself yet. So maybe it's only been two sessions. So I wouldn't see results until like the fourth or sixth session. Let's see. I'm doing that at Dr. Medi Spa in Knightsbridge. They have quite a few different salons, but Dr. Medi Spa in Knightsbridge mainly focuses on M. Scott Neo. That's one of their best selling things. So if it's so expensive and it's one of their best selling things, I think it's going to work. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist, right? Right? Loads of people ask me if it's painful because it's like electromagnetic and like radio frequent on your stomach. It's not painful. It just feels weird, like it feels kind of different, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show you my outfit as well because I just saw this exact outfit on Cos. This one is from something navy, I don't know if they still do it, but this 
on COS looks exactly the same and is really affordable on High Street. I have a few, ordered a few things this week and none of them have come and I think it's because everything's very slow because of the coronation, there's so much traffic. We're gonna have a new king, well we have a new king but we're gonna officially have a new king on Saturday. So none of my parcels have arrived. <laughs> that sounds so bad but I feel like that's why there's loads of traffic and why like things aren't happening as smoothly as they normally are in London because everyone's just like getting ready for coronation weekend. I have my favorite perfume in the car right now. This is Armani My Way, it's the new one. Oh, it is so good. It has iris, orange blossom. It's super potent and like really, really uplifting and quite strong. Like it really, it really slaps, like it hits, you know what I mean? Like it's not a wishy-washy perfume. It's like, oh, it really just takes you away. Like if you wanna cover something, like if you're a smoker or you wanna cover, what else? Like the night before or what else would you wanna cover up scent-wise? baby vomit i don't know whatever you want to cover up that will cover it up it is such good stuff and it really lasts okay let's go we're going to dr Eddie spot oh, i smell amazing like honestly if you want to smell amazing some people want like natural perfumes this is not that this is like you smell phenomenal there are really policemen everywhere in london right now i do feel very safe i've never seen so many policemen around guys can someone also take that clip that i filmed in the car of the policeman zooming by and tell me was that will and kate i saw a woman this is good old beach and place which is one of my favorite little streets in chelsea because it has shizu which i think i'm going to pick up lunch from after really really great sushi and really yummy food and very low-key vibes in there like you could literally go in your pajamas now i can show you my little outfit of the day these pants night dunks the set this is my favorite bag right now i'm wearing the caro so much when i first got it it didn't really sit with me that well, but now I love it. M sculpt is done, and I just got a call from the dentist saying, if you come now, we can fit you in, and I'm five minutes away. Like, how good is that? I was like, yes, I'm coming right now. I was like, right now. As I left my appointment, my phone was ringing. Like, what timing it's meant to be. And I was just listening to the news on the radio. I never listened to the news on the radio, but for some reason today, I've just had it on. They said that William and Kate have gone to the pub. Imagine being like down at the pub and Will and Kate just rock up. And they went on the tube as well. They went on the Elizabeth line. Like imagine just being on the tube and then just looking up and seeing Prince William and Princess Kate. Like, morning, <laughs> just on my commute. I think I die. I genuinely love them. I love them. Wish me luck. I is gonna go fix that tooth. I hope it's okay and that they don't need to like do something weird. Guys, I'm a very happy woman. I've taken off my lipstick and ah, I have a tooth. I have a tooth. That was actually really fast, like really quick. It took him maybe like half an hour. This weekend, I'm gonna be going to the country. So you'll see that next week and I'll be back 9.30 a.m. next Sunday. Hopefully no more teeth issues. And I hope you guys have a good week. Bye guys.